Hello, in this video I will show you a very simple way to resize your images in C Sharp. Okay, it's a very simple kind of a way. It won't take long. Uh, there are some complex parts to it. There are some choices that you will have to make. I will show you the basic options and if you uh, want to go deeper, it will be your choice. Uh, now, what we will do here in this little example, we will have uh, uh, one file. Uh, which then will be resized and then we'll have another file. So this one, as you can see, the dimensions is uh, uh, 320 by 250. Okay, and if we take a look at the other one, the resized one, you'll see that the resized one is 240 by 240. So it's a different size. It was successfully resized. Now then let's see how it all works. Here we have our simple example arrangement in a main method of a console application. We do need some using statements for this to actually work. Uh, we have system drawing, system drawing, drawing 2D, system drawing imaging and system IO for the files themselves. Okay, so if we get here, uh, we have some basic setup to do before we do anything else we get an image from stream. We have image variable, right? Image. And we get that from stream. We open the file for reading, the file stream, right? We provide that into the from stream method and we retrieve the image. That's it. We have the image type PNG. Everything is good. After that, we need to create a destination rectangle, okay? Or a rectangle type. An empty one, nothing fancy in that for now, just a basic setup before we do any kind of a resize. So we create 240 by 240, that's our rectangle. You can look at, at these uh, things, so these are some coordinates and then we have width and height. Uh, that's the, the only thing that we really have to deal with, okay? So it's 240 by 240 and then we need a bitmap. A bitmap, which is once again 240 by 240. Now, if you would put this whole arrangement into a method, a different method, so you could reuse it, uh, you would simply put in a, a couple of variables with a height, uh, a couple of parameters in that method, and you would put them uh, here respectively, right? Uh, quite a simple arrangement so far. We create a destination rectangle and the output, the output, which is a bitmap. Okay, now for the output, we need to set the resolution. Okay, we need to set the resolution. Uh, we do want to keep the resolution same as it was in the original. Okay, so that's why we take that from the image. Okay, so it will be original resolution. The size will be different, but the resolution we want to keep the same. Otherwise, the quality would de decrease. After that, we need to use uh, uh, graphics, okay? That comes from system drawing. We have this using arrangement. Uh, I do believe it's somewhat uh, more simple to read. Obviously, you would not necessarily have to uh, have this kind of a thing, but do remember when you're dealing with these uh, things, uh, you have to release it from the memory quite often. So this kind of an arrangement might be useful and save you some memory troubles. Uh, it won't break usually, but it will be troublesome. Your application will be uh, quite heavy. Okay, so we have graphics. We take that from image, okay, from image, but not from the original image, from the output now, from the output, we take graphics. Okay, we take graphics, GR, our variable, and then we add some of these uh, bits and pieces. Now, these are the choices that I told you you might need to make. Now, I am not going to get into this, I am not going to talk about uh, image design and image, uh, anything about uh, dealing with images, with pictures. Uh, uh, again, this is pretty much all about that, the quality and, and all that stuff. So you might want to talk about this with someone who actually knows how to uh, deal with images specifically, not necessarily a programmer, someone who just uh, 
works with images so that you know uh, perhaps uh, which arrangement would give you uh, the best file size and the best quality or the worst file size and the best quality and things like that. Uh, uh, this can get quite complicated but this is basically a high quality arrangement that we have. Uh, we have compositioning, uh, quality mode, uh, uh, some of these smoothing modes uh, and as you can see they're all set to high quality. Nothing fancy here, you just need to know what needs to be set and that's it. After that we have this uh, uh, wrap mode image attributes, okay, so image attributes so obviously it's not just necessarily a wrap mode but we set wrap mode, that's why we call it here that. So we have wrap, uh, set wrap mode and we do tile flip x y just leave that as basic and that's it again this is a, a quick kind of a way simple way to just deal with your image sizes when you uh, really need it okay so we have that and then finally we have draw image so we take the original image right here then we have destination rectangle okay destination rectangle and we have image height and then graphics units and wrap mode. And you may think now, you may think now, where does the output come in? The bitmap, right? The bitmap. In the end, we use bitmap to save or to write uh, uh, that file to your directory. Now, remember, GR, GR first had something called from image. Okay. So that output thing is already in the graphics okay it's already in there okay it's already in there and it will be dealt with as a stream okay so we have draw image we provide all the details and that's it the image is resized okay and now we have output save output save and the image file is created but do remember you have to really dispose everything you have to dispose the output as well uh, everything that you established you have to dispose otherwise it can get quite troublesome now with that we will end this little video and do subscribe to the channel for more how-to videos for more uh, technology based uh, videos uh, as well as business videos to come and do check out some of my courses some of my other content as well